Let's discuss specialty holsters. With this specialty holster, it's going to be an ankle holster. An ankle holster is a great option for concealed carry. Obviously, you need to be wearing pants to conceal an ankle holster. However, ankle holsters work very well because they're concealed and most folks aren't looking down there, but you have to have the right clothing. Uh, obviously, some skinny jeans aren't going to work for ankle holster. You're going to need something that's opened up uh, with a, a decent leg opening so you can get a reasonably sized gun down on the ankle. Now, talking about reasonably sized guns for ankle carry, it's pretty much going to have to be a small gun. So if we're talking ankle carry, we're talking subcompact or micro-sized pistols. With an ankle holster, what I found is you really need a good quality ankle holster. The method to carry for ankle holster, because you may have a thin sock on or no sock on at all, you're going to want a holster that's going to be very comfortable. Most of the good quality ankle holsters will have some type of stretchy neoprene with maybe some sheep's wool or some soft material inside to pad the leg so it's nice and comfortable and a good secure holster. I personally like an ankle holster that has some type of thumb break or retention on it because with the gun down there on the ankle, it's subject to a lot of abuse with you kicking it with your other foot and it just gets a lot of wear and tear down there around your ankle. Not to mention it's going to probably get dirty down there with dust and debris, lint, things like that. You have a couple different options as far as placement with an ankle. Typically most folks, and me personally, go for carrying the ankle gun on your weak side inside. So I'm a right-handed shooter, so I'll carry my ankle gun on my left leg on the inside right here. And that's gonna allow nice convenient carry and it's not gonna print. Another option that some folks will choose to do is they'll carry it on their strong side outside so it's right here. So as you pull up your pants, your gun would be right here. Again, personally, I found that inside on my weak side has worked best for me. Other thing to consider is we want the gun to conform with our leg and we don't want to be kicking it or anything like that. So what I found works really well if you're going to carry it on your, your weak side inside ankle is instead of having it directly on your inside ankle, have it actually slightly forward. What I mean by that, with this pistol I have right here, this is a revolver, short, small, compact, five shot revolver. Instead of it being directly on the inside, like it is here, where it would be prone to getting kicked, also it may print, so the butt of the pistol may print on the back of my pant leg. Instead of it having directly on the inside, what I'll typically do is I'll roll it to the front, something like this. That way the muzzle is almost in line with my foot, really, and the butt of the gun is going to conceal a little bit better, and then with my pants over it, it's nice and concealed. It does help wearing a high top shoe or boot like I've got on right now. That way the pistol or revolver will actually sit on top of your boot. If you're going to have maybe a dress shoe or a uh, gym shoe, a sneaker, something to that effect, all you're going to have to do is actually tighten up your ankle holster just a little bit more so it's not moving around on you. Some of the companies offer braces that will actually attach from the holster up to your ankle or high, high up, right up under your knee, and they'll stabilize your holster if you're wearing perhaps a dress shoe or something to that effect. Let's get into presentation methods from your ankle holster. There's a couple different methods you can choose from, probably dozens actually. I'll show you a couple that I found work good for me. Now, Keep in mind, the gun is way down there, so there is a disadvantage to carrying an ankle holster, and that disadvantage is the fact that the gun is located way down there. So carrying an ankle holster is definitely going to require a little bit of practice out of you, and especially at home. Dry fire practice, just simply working on the act of getting the gun out of the holster is really going to be crucial for you. Once the gun's out, everything is, is status quo as you normally would shoot, but accessing the gun may take a little bit of time. So there are two primary methods that I like for choosing to get my pistol out of an ankle holster. One of those methods keeps me standing up and the other has me moving to a kneeling position. So let's get into the first one. So the first method I'll go through is keeping your body up, standing up, and it'll involve basically bringing your knee up to your body, getting the gun out, 
putting your foot back on the ground, and maintaining a standing position. Now I actually have to go through this process somewhat quick or else I'll find myself talking about it standing on one foot. So I'm going to have to roll through this with a little bit of speed to get it done. So what I'll do first is I'll bring my weak side leg up, basically bring my knee up. As I'm going to reach down basically on or over the gun with my hands, I'm going to lift up my pant leg, exposing my pistol. At that point I'll access my pistol and break any retention I have place my foot down on the ground and at that point I have both hands on my gun and I can go to work. So let me go through that a couple times for you. So going through the motions a couple times, maintaining a standing position to get my ankle gun out will look like this. Simply bringing my knee up, reaching over the gun, exposing the butt of the pistol by lifting my pant leg up, coming straight down on the pistol, accessing it and from that point I can go to work. Getting the gun back in the holster, obviously you want to take extreme care, make sure your finger's off the trigger, and just like as normal as we've discussed before in other videos and lessons, we want to make sure that the holster is completely clear of debris or clothing or anything like that before we go back to it to make sure that we're going back to the holster and we're not going to impede the trigger. So going back to the holster, I could simply kneel down or I could bring my leg up, expose the holster, back in the holster, secure my thumb brake, and reconceal it. We'll go through a couple presentation, getting your ankle gun out using a standing method. It'll look like this. The next method to get my pistol out of my ankle holster is going to be actually dropping to a knee as I complete that drop process. What I'll do is I'll bend down before I bend my knee, which is going to tighten up my pants. Before I bend my knee, keeping a straight leg, going to reach down with both hands over the sides of the gun, lift it up, exposing the butt of my pistol. As I kneel down, I'm presenting my gun out to the target. Going back to the holster, again, make sure your finger's off the trigger. Nothing's in your holster that's going to interfere with going back to the holster, and it's nice and safe. So going through that method a couple times will look like this.